லைகா ப்ரொடக்ஷன் சுபாஷ்கரன் மற்றும் ரெட் ஜெயின் மூவிஸ் இணைந்து வழங்கும் உலக நாயகன் கமல்ஹாசன் நடிக்கும் பிரம்மாண்ட இயக்குனர் சங்கரின் இண்டியன் டூ ஜூலை பன்னெண்டு முதல் உங்கள் அபிமான திரையரங்குகளில் and keeping in specific to site like uh, i thought you have actually not shared what tamil nadu government is doing for all the other sport but you know the bmx track we also got the news and we read and we saw in the news you know when the honorable minister so were presenting and the budget allocation part um, the good part of uh, you know this event uh, i don't like calling it event i call it like a excel cycle race why because it's not just community you know last year when atul mr sir and honorable minister sir they were flagging of the race uh, they did ask this this question you know which was that when they saw people cycling they said okay this is the professional category right and then when that started running the sir the, the good part of cycling federation is they don't just come there to flag off even if we ask them to not go they will say we will be on the track our first job is to make sure everything is happening technically right and that i remember when the you said the statement in the first word i raised But I asked you to. I said you stay. We will do the. He said no. I have to be in the course first, and then I'll go on the stage. Yeah. So thank you for that support, sir. It's not just an event. I'm sharing some details before we unveil the official jersey of second edition of Excel Cycle on Chennai. We also take feedback from cyclists. Last year we had some issues because of the rain. It rained whole night, whole morning. Uh, one of the cyclists, and it happened in two of the fronts also. I think they created a neutral warm-up zone. so we went with all our pointers to cycling federation of india this time the the category which rajesh said that we have 55 km we had we had 24 km ntv we are also adding a 24 km road city bike category this year so one more race category now all these three distance categories in mature will have first 3 km as a neutral warm up zone because it's a mass race somebody is behind somebody is in the front so we will give you 10 minutes to cross the start line but your race starts after the neutral zone so nobody says that i was standing behind i was standing front you get a warm up zone of 3 km all those details will be on the website right so people and then your timing obviously is going to be net time we provide all those things uh, registrations are open now okay uh, like rajat said the price money was around 29 30 lakh last time this time we made it to 34 lakh rupees we have increased the prize money in amateur category we have age categories 18 to 30 30 to 40 40 to 50 50 plus if we see 60 plus categories people coming next year we will launch 60 plus also so that's for all the cycling groups we we'll request uh manindra sir yeah you wanted to share something uh, just uh, so with that uh, we had announced in noida that one another city of excel cyclothon is being added and uh, i think i should tell right So we have Hyderabad also, which has come up now. So with Noida and Chennai, Hyderabad will happen. So the point system will bring more cyclists to come up front. I request all the dignitaries to please come uh, forward for the launch of the all of the people who are involved with this HCL cyclothon. So for this year onwards, uh, the HCL cyclothon uh, it was always in the mm -hmm. CFI calendar, but uh, we have included this in our uh, pointing system as a CFI class one, which is the highest. ஒன்லிஸ்டன் gets included in this list so we are the first country doing that uh, this is our first year running a track and uh, road riders are already in the ranking system so hcl becomes the first um, uh, private event uh, sponsored event which is going to be a cfi highest class 1 uh, pointing system so that's that's a good news i can see that dignitaries on the dash top the dash slightly nervous friends from media and ever come back uh but that's it it's a matter of pride for this gt to be partnering with hcl for this hcl site to launch in edition 2.2 uh and at the same time i must please on record record our sincere gratitude and thanks to our chief minister not the sports minister sir uh, abhishek was mentioning how when hcl came up with this idea 
Now we we were very excited. The first thing that you know struck us was HCL, you know, uh, is from Tamil Nadu. Uh, but a cycling event is happening in Noida. Why not Chennai? Because Chennai is you know known for its cycling. So that's the first trigger. Uh, and then we know the kind of support HCL is doing to uh, squash and other sports. And then we we felt you know Chennai deserves HCL cycle fund. See, that's the you know motivation and inspiration behind which you know uh, we we ensured that the cycle fund happened last year. And I remember that evening when Honorable uh, Minister himself chaired a meeting with uh, top police officials from Chennai, you know, from Tambaram, from Chengalpet district, because you need three jurisdictions. You need to collaborate all of them, bring them together, and then uh, Chennai Corporation, then uh, authorities from Chengalpet. So, uh, in fact, you know, 15 minutes he gave clear directions and said that this you know event has to be done in a very successful manner. And you all know how our honorable chief minister himself is a cycling, you know, enthusiast, and he cycles very often. So, I thank both of them for the kind of support that has been given to us. Uh, in fact, the joke last year when we did the, you know, cyclothon was there were around 1,300 cyclists, and there were equal number of cops on the road to protect all of them. So, that's the kind of arrangements, you know, Tamil Nadu has put in place, and we we take a lot of pride in that. Uh, and at the same time, the reason why uh, uh, brands like HCL, you know, big big companies like HCL uh, probably add special value is, I mean, a sport like cycling needs, uh, you know, people like HCL to come on board. States can do a lot of work, federations can do a lot of work, associations can do a lot of work, but you have that big brand, you know, the sport is taken to the next level. I mean, I'm sure an event like this, you know, could be done only when you have, uh, you know, people with passion like HCL. So thank you so much for doing that, and thank you so much for bringing. Uh, and we have seen the kind of hit it was last year, that beautiful morning, I remember, it was drizzling, 1300 cyclists, you know, a completely green zone, and the kind of, you know, finish it was, on the Simpson was there. So, it was a fantastic event, and I'm sure, and in fact, it gave me a lot of confidence, I told them that day also, you know, Cyclothon is here to stay in China, and it will keep growing bigger. So, that should be our target. And let me also take a moment to thank the stakeholders, particularly, Police, the kind of support, uh, you know, police department, both Greater Chennai Police, Tamaram Commissioner, and Chengal Kattu Police has given us, you know, immense just one phone call, they say, sir, you know, we'll do whatever is required. The corporation, GCC Corporation, Chengal Kattu uh, uh, Municipal Administration, and uh, Health Department, so everyone, and most importantly, volunteers. Uh, the, the true heroes of this event last year were, were the volunteers, around 400 volunteers, helping everyone around. So we thank all of them. Uh, I must say that you know uh, it won't be an exaggeration if I say that Tamil Nadu sports has been you know witnessing its golden era for the past two and a half three years. Uh, what we have been able to do for every sport is you know uh, is well known, and uh, we are leaving no stone unturned to bring that improvement to every sport. And I will take example of cycling, you know, because you know if I keep speaking, we'll take one hour you know as to what we are doing for sports, but I'll restrict myself only to cycling. Uh, cycling remains one of our biggest priority areas as far as sport is concerned. You know, not just cycling once and all. As a sport, as a sport that we make our younger generation come and take up as a sport, dis sporting discipline on a competitive level. Uh, you all know, many you know friends from media would know that Honorable Chief Minister launched Tamil Nadu Champions Foundation, one of the very few initiatives, probably the only initiative by state uh, government anywhere in the country where we launched a foundation to accept CSR uh, donations and use it for the benefit of the sports persons. In fact, the first rupees five lakh to the you know, uh, foundation came from Honorable Chief Minister. And Honorable Minister keeps reviewing it. The impact that TNC have generated is humongous. Uh, we, we so far benefited around 450 different sports persons you know, for their equipment, for their uh, uh, travel, everything. Of which, you know, almost more than you know, you know, one fourth or one third is para sports persons. Matter of pride is the first beneficiary of Tamil Nadu Champions Foundation is a cyclist. <laughs> we heard a new story in a newspaper that a uh, young girl, uh, tw uh, class twelve girl from Coimbatore uh, named Tabitha, you know, is into cycling. I, I mean, due to her conditions that she could not afford a competitive cycle, you know, which would cost around 15 lakh or even 14 lakh. Or. So when we launched, finally we launched Tamil Nadu Champions Foundation, that's when the Honorable Minister said, 
she will be the first beneficiary. And so when we gave the first cycle, you know, about 15 lakh, many people were shocked. I mean, I was told in political you know, circles that as a cycle cost 15 lakh. I mean, we heard a car, you know, costing, you know, 15 lakh, or a bike costing, you know, 15 lakh. As a cycle cost 15 lakh. Yes, we said yes. You know, that's how a competitive cycle is. And after that, you know, there were at least seven to eight uh, cycling, uh, you know, champions, any champions who were given cycle, uh, cycles. And today also, in the evening, 4 p.m., Honorable Minister is giving another uh, cyclist a cycle worth around 12-13 lakhs in you know, for the competitions. And what did we achieve out of this? You won't believe, you go through the profiles of all these beneficiaries from Tamil Nadu Champions Foundation. All these young girls and boys ensured that for the first time in the history of Kailu India Youth Games, Tamil Nadu is the overall champion in cycling in both boys and girls. <laughs> and uh, you take the profiles of these young boys and girls, you find them not from Chennai, you find them from remote parts of Coimbatore, remote parts of uh, PNE, here, there, you know, coming, you know, studying in government schools, but has this passion for cycling and are able to win medals. So that's the kind of impact we could generate in the last, uh, you know, one and a half year. And I should thank the association here, Cycling Association of Tamil Nadu, for their tremendous efforts. Also, for the first time, Kelo India Games will be uh, this January. Uh, the first, uh, we do have a fantastic velodrome at TNP, but which was in a state of neglect for quite some time. Normally when we do Kelo games, what happens is the track cycling always goes to Delhi because many states doesn't have the capacity to uh, do a velodrome or have a velodrome. We took it up as a challenge, we ensured no, let Tamil Nadu be the first state which conducts all Kelo India youth games in Tamil Nadu itself. We gave, we put uh, you know, velodrome back in life in, you know, in flat two to three months, ensured that it is straight up that and we conducted cycling, track cycling at the Pesu velodrome uh, in Chennai. But I mean, I, I have to, uh, you know, the, the icing on the cake as far as cycling is concerned. See, when we saw the results, these young boys and girls, you know, performing very well and winning medals left, right, and center everywhere. But what really struck me was most of them go to Trivandrum or Delhi for their training because that's where Sai, you know, centers of excellence were there. The question that struck me was see, when we have a velocity and when we have, you know, cycling flourishing so well, why don't we center, center uh, over a center of excellence? You know, I had consultation with the association, then I took permission from the ministry, was very excited, he said, let's do this. And in no time, you can go to uh, Wanderlur, you know, uh, Physical Education Sports University campus, and you can see some 28, 30 odd young boys and girls starting their daily routine, you know, and they have been for the first time ever in the history of SD80, or probably any state government, you have 30, uh, you know, students just for cycling, you know, as their sports discipline. Normally we take a football, we take a volleyball, but we were the first state probably, if I'm not wrong, to start a hostel, center of excellence, where they go and study in the nearby school and practice their uh, you know, uh, discipline, which is cycling, you know, day in and day out. We have already provided them cycles and I'm sure we'll, 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 generate, we'll keep generating more and more champions. And most important, that's when the inspiration also came that when we're doing so well in cycling, let's take it to the next level. And we know the kind of medals that BMX offers at Olympics, in the more than around 12 medals. So, Federation spoke to us, Association spoke to us, that's when we took it as a challenge. We found a land near Velodrome in uh, uh, Wadalu. And this budget announcement, if you see, one of the first announcements by Honorable Minister sir, on the floor of the assembly was that Tamil Nadu is setting up India's probably state sponsored first BMX track. So, land has been finalized. In fact, we have the you know, images, consultants will be there very soon. Probably by the time we launch this uh, HCL cycle on next year, we'll have uh, India's first state-sponsored BMX uh, track up and running, which will give you know wings to more uh, champions on the way. So that's the kind of you know work we have been doing. The idea is you know the, uh, our idea is to ensure that you know any guy you know any girl you know any girl with the potential should you know be given you know wings to ensure that you know they, they do well in the sport. I have only one request for uh, HCL cycle run and the association and federation is also here. Uh, We'll also, our biggest challenge will be to ensure that we, uh, you know, take cycling to hinterland, you know, we don't, you know, you know, it should not be just an urban sport, you know, urban, you know, rich, you know, like, you know, sport. There are fantastic, you know, boys and girls, and then I can watch for them because I've been seeing them, you know, day in and day out. Fantastic boys and girls trying to do wonders, you know, in, in rural parts. So that's why probably even for cyclothon. You know, yes, we do get good crowd, you know, from Chennai, but we need to bring crowd from other parts of the state also. 
and I'm sure we'll get a fantastic, you know, uh, uh, people you know who want to recite it. So that's where I request that see along with the team and, and association federation to take the message to every local corner and bring more uh, cyclists to Chennai. And uh, so with that. Uh, you know, let me again uh, thank Hitsiel for uh, bringing this. I am sure this is this will be an annual affair, and like many other marathons and cyclothons, you know, people will have great things to speak about Hitsiel uh, cyclothon. And uh, honestly, let us take pride in the fact that very few cities can offer.